star beings and galactic beings uh, <laughs> are somewhat of a mystery to most uh, humans on this planet, but there are uh, some people who have had contact with uh, the travelers uh, in space. And uh, fortunately, um, several years ago, I had this opportunity to make contact with travelers in space. Um, you know, the, a lot of the humans uh, uh, say, no, we're the only intelligent beings in the universe. So I wonder just how intelligent are we when we create global warming that is killing several things on the planet now, uh, in drilling wells, using fracking, and that has created a lot of uh, earth ruptures and earthquakes, uh, and things like this that we're doing to uh, abuse the planet. And uh, so, anyway, uh, Back in 1972, uh, um, when I was living in Texas, I was a member of a little study group where we were studying about the ancient wisdom and some of the belief systems in the ancient times uh, about other realities and uh, other entities in other space. And uh, so, at one of our meetings, um, oh, the head of the group, leader of the group, was a conscious channel. He would receive information from other entities in the other realms um, and give us some information about uh, the bigger picture. And uh, so in one of the meetings, um, he received the message um, this is Maylor of the spacecraft Rainbow. Welcome to the universe. <laughs> so that was a bit of a surprise. Mm -hmm. What is this? Who is this? And, the, and this entity said, and we would like to talk with you if uh, you would be open to that. And so all of us in the groups said, yes, we want to do that. So two weeks later, we got together again, and, and uh, uh, so uh, the channel said, well, if you're really out there and want to talk to us, we would like to talk to you. And so this started a conversation with them about every other Sunday night and maybe once a month, something like that, from 1972 to 1984. So we had a conversation with an extraterrestrial uh, craft uh, and captain of the craft uh, for 12 years. Uh, over that period of time, they taught us a lot about the bigger picture, told us about their work in the universe and uh, life on their planet, things like that. But one of the most important things they told us was that uh, because humans are in some manner abusing the earth, you know, like global warming, et cetera, et cetera, um, there, we have the ability uh, Humans now have the ability to destroy the planet. Uh, but they honor our free will because this is part of our process of education on planet Earth. We need free will to learn from direct experience what works and what doesn't work, what's best and what's not so good. Uh, so they honor our free will because that's part of the process of living on planet Earth. Back in, uh, let me see, this was August 26, uh, 2015. This was during the Sundance. Um, and I, 
uh, during Sundance, I try to tune in to see, you know, what's happening in the other realms. And I received this message from Maylor, our space contact. So I'll read this. Uh, Greetings, this is Maylor, your friend among many on your planet. We are watching with curiosity and really an understanding of your process and technique of connecting with all realms of life. It is with your use of energy in a sacred manner that is very important and is for the good of all in your realm in which you live. For we in our realm use energy as well in our travels and work in the universe. Your current activity is very important in developing a network of life around the planet. From our vantage point above the planet, it appears as a web of light that is much needed to bring the planet out of the darkness created by those who do not understand the plan and purpose for this planet and its role in the solar system. Light and sound are transforming energies and you're using them well. 